Previously. Arrived in Tokyo. Okay, this is what traveling is about. Like, you meet new people yeah. and you never expect to. I try to be a rapper. I try to be an MC. What's your channel? Hetari B-Boy. It's massively raining at the meetup. <laughs> We're on the train to the airport. We could survive a plane crash. We might not. Last summer, I decided to take a trip to Tokyo and Seoul with my friends Brad and Michaela. We learned a lot about the culture and about each other. I guess that happens when you travel. This was a trip I will never forget. After a dramatic two-hour flight from Tokyo to Seoul, we took a bus to Shincheon. None of us had been to Korea before, and we'd only have two full days to explore the city. Seoul didn't feel foreign to me, but the areas that we saw were definitely grittier than the super clean streets of Shibuya that we had grown accustomed to. We booked a room at Casaville, located close to the university campuses and nightlife. It was also just a subway ride away from Dongdaemun, home to over 20 shopping malls and markets. In case of destroyed guest room caused by balloon and candle or moving furniture, do not make a noise. <laughs> Casaville definitely had a different vibe than Hotel Unizo, but it was fine since we would only spend our nights at the hotel. Michaela, Brad, go, Andrew. Brad, go, Andrew. <laughs> the next day we explored Hongdae, which is known for its urban arts and music culture, clubs, coffee shops, and restaurants. Despite the language barrier, we managed just fine. Being from a multicultural city like Toronto, I was actually familiar with a lot of the foods that we ate, and even simple things like water bottles and where to find utensils. So we're in the Hongdae area. This area has been described as like the Harajuku of Korea. Yeah, I can see that. A little yeah. My favorite souvenir from Korea, besides all the memories, would be these rings that I got engraved. After shopping, we boarded the subway to get back to the hotel. Seoul's train system is just as complex as Tokyo's, but we had no problem navigating it, again thanks to excellent wayfinding and an abundance of maps. After a quick stop at the hotel, we were on our way to meet Simon and Martina, also known as Eat Your Kimchi. Okay, perfect. So we're heading to meet Simon and Martina of Eat Your Kimchi, and we have no idea where we are or where they are. And this is the address. But... That doesn't really mean a lot to us uh, because we can't read it. 363, what was it? 363 dash? One. One. They shoot in a studio, right? And they said they'd meet us downstairs, so it's gotta be at least a two story building that looks like you shoot things in. <laughs> no idea? Oh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We're I'm looking for this address. That way, and if you go straight, this yeah, okay, and you can meet this road okay. right okay. here, yeah. and opposite side to here. Okay, okay, okay. so just very before. near, okay. about okay. one, one hundred meter. Oh, okay. so like right around the corner. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Opposite thank you. Thank side. You. Side. No, but he said we had to cross. Had to cross? Oh yeah, but it was like, it wasn't on a side street, right? No. We're so lost, and I'm clicking on this map that they gave me, and a friggin' Android is trying to get me to download Google Plus and do all this blah blah blah. Give me directions, I'm roaming now! <laughs> so everyone's very helpful, but we can't seem to figure out Google Maps. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Like a friend. Friends studio. Ah, uh, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, ah, 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 
Simon and Martina took us through the Eat Your Kimchi Nasty Studios, a space where they shoot their videos and conduct interviews with some of today's biggest K-pop stars. I'd seen quite a few of their videos before and I was really impressed with their setup. We found that when we first moved in here, it was yeah. pretty empty. And then I'd be like, oh, I wish I had that t-shirt that I used for those club scenes. And then eventually we just had to like fill it up with all the stuff that we might like, possibly, possibly use. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So you script shoot post same day? or Yeah. For Music Monday. We, we have a insane turnaround. That's why we go to see We're, we're very recording. efficient with right. our with our editing. Yeah. Nice meeting you very briefly. <laughs> After meeting the team and chatting in the studio, we went to get Popping Su, a Korean dessert. Okay, we're on Parking Lot Street in Hongdae, so it's called that. It's because called Parking Lot Street. Because, because people parking. just park anywhere here, and then driving through this area is the dumbest thing you could do. I have no it's, idea why. You just, you just get in your car, and you're like, <gasps> red light. And you just like crawl behind people like creepers. It's faster to walk in this area than it is to drive. Yeah, but this is our favorite neighborhood for sure. This is a, a Hopping Su place, and Hopping Su is like a, like a shaved ice with with red bean dessert. Uh, a lot of times, some popping sue is like covering with like cherry tomatoes and like syrups and whatnot that they try to enhance the flavor. This place only has three ingredients and they do those ingredients so well that they don't need to supplement it with any other crap. So this this place does it right. I really like your show. Thank you. Thank you very much. We had some good conversation about YouTube and Toronto, which is where Simon and Martina are originally from. There you go. Okay. Blue Jays, Blue Jays, let's play ball. You were supposed to say the other part. Uh oh, wait. You guys know the Blue Jay cheer? Do you actually know the Blue Jay cheer? That's what I'm telling you. Side eyeing him. Got no idea what he's doing. Later that night, we met up with one of Brad's friends, Brian, who took us out. We ate and drank a lot that night. Shopping day! Our last full day in Korea was dedicated to shopping. On Simon and Martina's recommendation, I checked out Dongdaemun, a combination of markets and giant shopping centers focused on fashion. Like many of these places in Asia, you'll find a ton of items in various colors, styles, and brands. At first, it was very overwhelming, but once you spend some time looking around, you start to notice that many vendors carry the same items. Unlike Tokyo, bartering is normal in Seoul, so you should build in time to shop around and negotiate for the best price. The shopping continues! I want to buy everything. I was ready to head out, but then I saw it. So the ugliest t-shirt in an otherwise fashionable city. You design that? My design. The design. Of course, I'd have to be sold on some other items first. I don't smoke though. <laughs> so it's a medium. How much is this? Um, original flat cassie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this is all handmade. Okay. Original thirty-five thousand. No, no discount. Okay. okay. No discount. Oh, Korea discount. You can only just on oh, brand Canada. Okay. Many, many. Twenty-eight. There was no way I could get a good price on one T-shirt, so I tried to find another one that had a less offensive design. One fifty. Since it was clear he wasn't going to give me a good price, I had to find another reason for him to give me a discount, and this only could have worked in this situation. So that one, that's me. Wow, you? Yeah. You? Yeah. <coughs> you? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> in the end, we agreed on a price, but given that I was a tourist and that I didn't speak Korean, I think I was going to get ripped off no matter what. But it was a fun game. Okay. Yeah? Okay. All right. The slow decline of this evening. The slow descent. Goodbye, Korea. You were weird. The next morning, we woke up with barely enough time to get to the airport to make our 9 a.m. flight back to Tokyo. Luckily, the staff at Incheon International Airport raced us through immigration and security, and we made it onto our flight with just a few minutes to spare. Our stay in Seoul may have been brief, but I'm sure we'll remember those nights for a long time to come. Next week on Gunnarola. We're in Japan. Gonna get sloppy, gonna get messy. Getting a little flamey. This is so YouTube. It is. Lighting the video with a friggin' cell phone. This has been wild, it's been crazy, it's been emotional. The most fun and the most frustration I've had in a long time.